Going into Breckenridge today. First stop, I think, is going to be trying to get a Breckenridge distillery tour. Ah, oh, yeah. But they're first come, first serve, and they open at 11, so we're going to hit there right when they open. And then we'll go check out downtown Breckenridge and see what it's all about. Nice. Yeah. Let's go. Beautiful day. It is. So we're still using that same paint, plain vodka base, 100% sweet corn. Um, this time we're adding in a pear brandy that we make. Uh, we go to Palisade, Colorado and grab four tons of red and yellow Bartlett. It's really sweet. Uh, the nice thing though is that that sweetness doesn't fall on the palate. We are done at the Breckenridge Distillery. That was really cool. That Going was fun. Going back to see everything. Yeah. Um, it was a relatively quick tour. Um, they have a free version of all this where you get like three tastings as well as the tour. And then a $10 version. Where you get to taste almost everything except for their very high-end whiskeys. Yes, and then the $8 tour, which is the high-end whiskeys, or you can do them both for 18. Mm -hmm. There's no discount if you if you do them both. I thought that was strange. No. But, but what, we did, as it may. what we did is we did, I paid for the $10, like the normal tasting, and he paid for the high-end, and, and then we, should, we yeah. shared them, and they're fine with that. So we perfect. paid 18 total. Yeah. Um, it was very nice. It was. It, it was. it was really cool to taste every, all pretty sorts much of everything they made. Yeah. All different bourbons, all different vodkas, yeah. um, and get to see where they make it and see their barrel room. The whole thing was really cool. And That's then right. make sure you taste their maple syrup because they age maple syrup in their barrels after they're done making it. Yeah, we their got the idea to add maple syrup to old fashioned, so we're going to try that tonight. Not see their how maple that syrup because it was really expensive. It was 40 bucks a um, bottle. But we have good maple syrup in the airstream, at, at the so distillery. we're going to try that. Yeah. So. Yeah. And the nice thing is the tastings are like, it was, Itty -bitty. I mean, yeah. yeah, it's enough to taste, but not enough to actually affect you, um, which was, which And you is can perfect. pour them out, which we did in some of the stuff and you can have, there's lots of water and everything. So it's actually really good. Yeah, it's all good. So now we're going to head into Breckenridge proper and um, walk around and see a little bit of town. Yeah, let's go.
We've been back from Breckenridge for a couple hours now. Corinne took a nap, I was doing some video stuff, and it turned into an unexpectedly cloudy day. And when you rely on solar, clouds are no bueno. But, but even with a full sky of clouds, we're still pulling in between four and five amps with the inverter off. All right, right now, as you can see, we're pulling in 4.8 amps. Let me turn that back on. There we go. Battery capacity, 97%. Pull it in 4.8. That just goes to show you that even if you do have clouds, you're not completely dead in the water. There is still some solar coming through those clouds. We have turned off the ceiling fans, though, because it's getting actually kind of cool out there. Courtney was just shaking her head yes. Uh, she's playing with dogs. Oh, 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 and we got some firewood for, t firewood for tonight. That's easy for me to say. At Walmart. So, we might have a campfire tonight. We'll see. If you recall earlier, when we left the distillery, we had the idea... Door just closed because of the wind. We had the idea to make maple uh, old fashions with maple syrup. So, we have real maple syrup, not the fake sugary stuff. Actual maple syrup, because that's what she likes. And we made them. So we're gonna find out how they taste. Ah, yes. Bourbon cherries, larceny, bourbon, some bitters, and then this is the organic maple syrup. It's a very dark drink. It's a very dark drink, yes. With This is critical, by the way, an orange peel inside the drink. So you should try it. All right. That's yours. Oh, that's nice. Is it good? It's very sweet, but very good. Yeah, I didn't know how much maple to put in, but you like your drink sweet, so I figured I'd just... I do. Sweetness is not a problem with me. Uh, yeah, this, this is like a maple bacon, almost. I can taste some bacon. At least maybe that's my brain registering the, the link maple. between maple and bacon, because they go so well together. It's a maple bourbon. Yes, this is wonderful. So go Let's keep doing it. Go outside and have happy hour? Let's do it. Here's our happy hour location. Nice little handicap accessible picnic table. And we're good to go. All right, we're gonna enjoy these drinks. We will see you in the next video from somewhere around here.